Wow, is it December already? Time sure does fly, doesn't it? Hi everyone, I'm Michael Krulik with Abbott's product marketing team, and we are thrilled that production is in full swing now, creating some amazing feature films, television shows, and documentaries. All of which you can watch from the comfort of your own home, or if you decide to venture out to get the full experience, you can actually go to your favorite movie theater. And if you ever venture out to Los Angeles, you definitely want to stop by and take a look at the brand new Academy Museum. It is finally open here in Los Angeles, so make sure to stop by and see this amazing building filled with exhibits devoted to the history, science, and cultural impact of the film industry. And speaking of impact to the film industry, I'm really happy to show you some of the latest features in Media Composer 2021.12. Let's take a look. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And we want to give you something that you've wanted for a while. Our gift to you is that Media Composer is now supported on Apple Mac systems that use the M1 chip. And we even support running on the latest operating systems. So if you're running on Windows 11 or Mac OS 12 or Monterey, you are good to go. Customizing your settings and user interface is key to having an experience catered to your needs. And even with the current options to map buttons to your UI, we always want more. With the addition of the dockable tool palette, not only can you place a series of new buttons anywhere you want them, but you can create an entire series of tool palettes in your settings. Open as many as you'd like, place them where you want them, and save them to your user workspace. Due to the demand of some very VFX heavy feature films and television shows, we have increased the track limit for video and audio in a sequence to 99. That's right, 99 tracks of video and 99 tracks of audio. That's up to 198 tracks to a sequence with more sounds or keyed elements and effects within Media Composer, Media Composer Ultimate, and Media Composer Enterprise. And I know you're gonna love the new features that we've added to the Media Composer bins. Expanding on the existing bin features to align and fill your media in frame view, you can now enable a grid system to easily organize and set up your content the way you want it. When you access the Snap to Grid function from the Fast menu in the bin or the Bin menu, you are presented with options to enable the grid to be on display the entire time in your current bin, to make the bin active but invisible, or my favorite setting is temporary. <laughs> this is the best of both worlds. As you move your clips, they are initially freeform to where you can place them anywhere you want in your bins. But if you hold a beat, the grid will display and you can align to the active grid. Additional functionality for those of you using the built-in NewTek NDI plugin to view your Media Composer output to any other computers on your network you'll be happy to know that you can now select up to 16 channels of audio when playing out through the NDI plugin with the new NDI control panel. And if you didn't know, there are a couple of other enhancements that made their way into the latest versions of Media Composer. While in text view in your bins, you can adjust the size of your bin columns to a width of your choice by simply clicking and dragging the column separator. Double-clicking the separator between columns will resize the entire column for you automatically. <laughs> Being able to move clips in your timeline, up and down, or left and right, is easy with a simple keystroke. But the results of how the other edits in the timeline react to this movement may differ between editors. Set the function to enable or disable the Move Clip Leaves Filler option. What this affects is the result of the moving clips within your timeline. Do you want it to wipe out the underlying clip? Or do you want to keep the clips where they are currently set in your timeline? It's up to you. The new release of Avid Media Composer 2021-12 adds great features to help you organize your bins and media, expands the track count for VFX and audio heavy sequences, and provides a more customized and flexible user experience. Happy holidays, thank you for your time and talent, and I'll see you next time.